What's up, everybody? We back with another one. Stay safe on Social Club Podcast. Woo! We got a guest today. Introduce yourself, man. Yeah, um, I mean, you can follow me on my social media sites, it's Corey Hollis, but, or if you know me personally, I do a little music, it's covering the artists, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, other than that, from Osceola, Mississippi County, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Graduated in Woodbury County, so I will stand up, 712. But, here to do my thing. Here to do my thing, <laughs> answer a couple of questions. And he even came with the top. Came with the top. That's what we look at right there. I know one of them is the titles and responsibilities that come with them. Very much so. Right. That's good. Titles and responsibilities that come with them. Because if we wear a lot of hats, um, especially as men, and um, you don't hear it often because we respond differently to a lot of things. So um, I know with myself, the, t the hats that I wear, uh, um, obviously I'm the oldest son, I'm the oldest grandson, um, I'm a father, I'm a hey. dad. Um, Great dad. Uh, <laughs> husband. Uh, I'm a husband, yeah. husband yeah. co-worker. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, bro. I'm, I'm a, I wear a lot of hats, and with that, it comes a lot of responsibilities because a lot of people go through a lot of different shit at right. one time. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be strong enough to be able to deal with your shit and be able to help them or listen to them vent and not be able to take over it. Because when you compound your problems with somebody else's problems, it's just a bunch of stress. Exactly. And so that I've just learned, you know what I'm saying, the older that I got to be able to like balance it out. You know what I'm saying? Like I and my cousins never tell you. Like they always come to me like cause you know what I'm saying, you always this, that, there, but like it takes a lot to be able to be It takes a lot to be able to be uh calm like that, man. Yeah. It took years to be real. And still going through shit. But I value life. And if there's one thing that I can encourage anybody is to value life itself. People die every day for whatever reasons there is. Some for no reasons. But value life. It's already short. It's short. It's so short. It's value. Value. It's no matter what you do, be consistent at it. Do what you're going to do. If you're going to drink on weekends, drink. Have fun. But know that you got responsibilities when Monday comes. Maybe it's Sunday. Because not many... <laughs> Take boat tip for time. They party all week. It's, it's, it's all week, and maybe sluggish at work, be tired. Life all about balance. It's you know? balance. Exactly. You got to balance it out in all different areas. Exactly. And, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And a lot of people be like, "Oh, what's born, what's not born." It's what you. What are you trying to get out of? What are you trying to get out of your life? I ain't gonna lie. I, think, I mean, to me, it ain't born. But it's, it's what's for me. Right. It's for me to be able to do everything Thank I need you. to do. <laughs> People on the outside, I got them born life. You know, hey, or, we pay or, the bill. We have fun when we need if to. We have to us, we what happy. We need to be. I don't care if you see me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I'm happy. I'm chilling. Happy. I'm doing what I want to do. That's so why it. should I care? That born life keep me out of a lot of situations. I feel like you be bored, you're going to have longer life. Yeah. You always out in the open. If you're content with your life, you're going to live longer. If you are not out here stressing, in the streets doing all this extra shit. Being yeah, shy, Steve. Yeah, I mean, there's a time and place for that, but it ain't got to be your whole life. Yeah. That's true. That's true. true. Some people make it their whole life, didn't they? Um, true. Yeah. There's some people that don't know how to grow up. Don't want to grow up. They don't, don't have the kids. They don't have the wife. <coughs> they don't have the home life. Don't they want they to grow up. Yeah. still some of the ones that got the kids and all that. Too. That's they true. This is it's, it's inflexibility. Yeah. Inflexibility kills. Yeah. Everything, y'all. When I say relationships, friendships, jobs, it's inflexible. You don't want to do it. Not that you don't have, and like, not that you can't. You don't want to. I'm talking about like where I'm at now. I deal with a lot of shit, especially working with a lot of women. Yeah. Not to, I'm telling you, I love women. I love, listen, women. No. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, like for real, when you work at with a bunch of women in the same vicinity, they can get real catty. Yeah. Want what they want, 
very organized, on it this way, this way, bump heads, and so like being one of the only males, you bring that balance. Mm -hmm. So even with that, you know what I'm saying, you got to be able to like, damn, like if I wasn't there, how would it be? We come from a family with mostly women. With majority women, that's we how, do. That's how I grew up. Our family is like that. Like they played a big role. They played a big role. Yeah. On how we turned out. It did yeah. you know. Like I, I'll say, for instance, at my house, you know, what I'm saying because I come from a majority of women, and because I got all boys, my wife in the, is spoiled. In yeah. a sense, like I tell my sons all the time, you treat she, she don't need to ask for nothing. Treat her like, you know what I'm saying? Like, worship the ground she walk on. Absolutely. Because she is our backbone. She yeah. makes sure the, the crib is good. She makes sure the food is there. She makes sure the laundry's done. And that's working, you know what I'm saying, when she works. That's a job at you know, and People don't realize that. And people so, like, it's, that. it's the job. So, yeah. it's just like, if, if she's the only woman there, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and it's all males, me and my sons. She shouldn't have to ask us for manly shit to do. Not the, not the man that they Exactly. Unless she want to do it, that's her. And she's very headstrong. She likes to do shit, you know, because she's very artsy. She's very artsy. She's very creative. So she always doing, making shirts, making embroideries, making things like, you know what I'm saying? She always grabbing the hammer, trying to do shit on her own. Because she's trying to help you out. With, she's trying to make your life. Well, it's not even that because she likes it how she wants it. She Because she's going to come behind me and question me any way. Yeah. So, so I'm like, it's what I'm going to say. She's just like, well, it ain't how I want it, so I'm going to do it this way anyway. But you, you, know, you know what I'm song. saying? So... It's, it's one it of them. Some, if your wife ain't happy, the house ain't happy. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not, I, I mean, only let yeah. you know, too. If something happened to where you were sick or whatever and you couldn't make something happen, they let you know right there she's willing to step in. Oh, yeah. She gonna, she, gonna pull, she gonna hold it down for sure. Yeah. That's one thing I can say about it. She gonna hold it down. People take it. I don't know about sporting, anybody else. But people take it gonna hold it down. Our old ladies. They look at it and be like, oh, well, she don't do nothing. She just spoiled. No, she do a lot. Mm -hmm. She right. do a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why she's spoiled. Yeah. She do like I said, titles. It's a lot comes with a wife. Yeah. It's a lot comes with a mother. It's a lot comes with a daughter. It's a lot comes with being the oldest cousin, middle cousin. Yeah. It's a lot comes with mother, those wife, things. daughter. It's all the so same. So you got to split yeah. that up. Yeah. Then, like, with the way we work, like, you got to think of how many hours in a week. She mm -hmm. work 8 to 12 hours a day. Yeah. And you got to think, our oh, I, the people we see at work is basically our fucking family. Yeah. We see them more than we see our family. Yeah, so the work and it's fucked up. Yeah. But that's facts. That's like, facts. Facts. like I facts. see you yeah. all the fucking time. Like, shit, yeah. you know, you, yeah. you ought to you know me by now. You see them more than your family because, yeah, exactly. okay, eight to ten hour work day, that's really your day. Yeah, so home, like, it's eight, only 12 eight, hours in a day now. You don't have eight to ten hours with your family. You don't no, you got to get that sleep in, you know, the right. drive there, the drive yes. back, your showers, your food. Everything you don't have that time church. with your family. So, you, so you don't have it. So the time that you have, like when weekend come, and I be trying to explain people to them, like, so I like split my time up. Because when I get home from work, I'm winding down. Yep. I got my man cave. I be in my man cave. If she need me, she'll hit me. But yep. then she might want her own space. So I don't want to bother her, you know what I'm saying? You're dealing with people at work. When you come home, your home is supposed to be your peace. Yep. Yes. None of that arguing, none of that extra shit. Look, I babe, I got agree. it, you got it, whatever. Your home is your peace. Whatever the fuck it is that's going on at work, leave it there when you yeah. exit those doors. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going to at home, yeah. leave it at home before yeah. you go to fucking work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't see why people, like, like people get so overwhelmed. I've never been a person to be overwhelmed. That's why I can train really good. I can deal with a lot of people. I can handle a lot of things at one time. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, oof, when I need a break, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I just go roll up and be like, Lord, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just like, but I love to be helpful in a sense. You know what I'm saying? If I can impact people in a positive way, I always want to do it. You know that's that's what it made me know. Wake me up. If I, can, if I can stop you from doing something stupid, Please hit me up. Let me know. Now, vice versa, my temper different. I, let, let me handle me. I got me. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to other people, I never stand wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm a ride with you, but I never see you wrong. You know, the older you get, I, I, I and I definitely like. I love being 37. I love being older because I would never go back to where I would be. I never want to go back there. I'm thankful. Yeah. Growth Asian is beautiful. 
It is. I just don't want to go back to my twenties. Like, twenties was a motherfucker. Come on, man. I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there. It's so fun. It's so fun. The Thirty Club is so fun to me. It is. It is. I don't want to go back to being twenty. Who would have thought that the Thirty Club would be this fun and shit? Like I said, I'm three years from forty, so it's just like I really is. Where I'm at now is the time where I'm buckling down with moving forward, you know what I'm saying, futurist, like building something for building wealth. Right. Like at the age of the it's, it's, it's building generational wealth. Yeah. You know, some people start early. Kudos to them. Some start late. Yeah. The road is less travel. It's, it's never too late right. to start. It's, you know never, too it's never too late to do anything that you, you want to do. Strong. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Able to do it. It's right. just that where I'm at now, like maturing is very much so is building generational wealth for my family right you know what i'm saying because like you never know like it's so i wouldn't say it's scary because if you're a spiritual person you automatically know that what happens happens you gotta yeah. come with it you gotta you whatever gotta, happens supposed to happen but that's where i'm at in life because i do i don't want to not be here and my sons don't have nothing to carry on a legacy yeah. e- except for when motherfuckers come to them like oh your daddy was mm-hmm. he was a cool ass yeah. nigga yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying but at the same time it's like what did he do for you yeah. all you got is this right here all you got is that like you know what I'm saying and I don't want my sons to be like a misfit in the streets just say I didn't have nothing backed up and nothing, but all they had was the knowledge and shit that I gave them, and then they turned out being felons and shit like that. Like, how would that make me feel as a person? Exactly. My Some son is a felon, but here I am. Everybody knowing me as this cool ass yep. dude. I got a head on my shoulders. I'm doing this, but my kid is a misfit. Nah, no, it's we not gonna that, happen. Like that. we get to the age where we get to thinking like that. Yeah, you gotta. It's, you, it's a good thing. You gotta slow down yeah. and think about them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And really think about them. But sometimes you can't blame yourself, though. No. No, because the kids can do what they want to do. Very much so when they come in, they got to come into their character. Mm -hmm. Yes. They got to. They be finding themselves And it just be them because one thing that my grandma did with me, and this was when I was, this was about five years ago, and she told me she had to let me go. And what she mean by let me go is like, let me go as in like, let me be a man. Mm -hmm. Because if she always picking me up right here, like every little bitty piece every day, she worrying, she calling, she blowing me up, this being stressed on herself and she already see. Yeah. And you're gonna yeah. keep expecting that and you won't ever grow. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just like, I got it. Yep. It's able. Uh, uh, I got it. Yep. I may fuck up able. along the way. Yep. Be inconsistent along the way, but I got it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. My, gen- figure it out. my generation good. wants the success, but not the work that comes with it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I was like that. I wanted it, but I ain't put no work in it. My twenty, I ain't about nothing. What? I just want to party. <laughs> not, not building. I just want to party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not like, building, not building working for what I got. Do, do you think that coming from a small town, that your parents play? Because I, I know with us, yeah. our parents really didn't hit us with the, oh, your credit is, like, is important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had to. Learn it. Oh, we I had to figure it out. We had that's what I'm saying. Like we had to fuck up. Yeah. To, you know what I'm saying? And that's just. But what they did purpose for was for like life. Mm-hmm. I don't think they did it intentionally. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like they didn't know. Yep. They that's didn't. That's what it is. My time. Like, right. That's yeah. not. You don't yeah. think about your credit off rim. You don't think about like damn this. I can get a car off the lot and not pay zero down. And that's what my daughter's 16 right now. That's what we're hammering into her. By the time you turn 18, you can get your own house, your own car. You work for it. Yeah. Put your mm-hmm. money up, put this in your savings, do this, do that, yeah. And we don't take from our kid. Either. He got a job, and I like we don't take from him. Mm-hmm. All your checks is yours. Yeah. What you do with it, we want you to save, but what you do with it is, is, is your, what you do with yeah. it. Right. But you got to understand right. where we're when coming from is family. This shit is added on to, because senior year is the most, senior year in kindergarten, most expensive years. Yep. Yeah. When they start school, when, when they, they finish, finish. Yeah. most expensive years you'll ever have. Next year, junior be good because like we got everything you pretty much needs, but it's just like a repeating process. Yeah. yeah. But kindergarten, senior year, most expensive years you'll ever have in your life. Mm-hmm. Come see your kids. Yeah. Definitely got to be locked in. But even after, you're never gonna stop taking care of your kids. My grandma now call me. All the time, and my mama, fifty-three, 
and you checked on my baby yet? But that that is her baby. You know what I'm saying? She's yeah, seventy yeah. and she's fifty three, but the, in her eyes, that are always those her, her five are always her baby. She's the real definition of mother and never ends. You know, no matter how old your kids You don't get that anymore. She, she though, is. Like she like that. that glue right there, right? And so swear. we're very tight knit. Like her kids and her grandkids are very tight knit. Like we're first cousins. But all of us we're are like very tight knit. We're like brothers and sisters yeah. because that's how she raised us. That's how With her siblings and her siblings' kids, we were raised as brothers and sisters. So we always see each other as bro and sis. We yeah. never see each other as cuz, even though we were so cuz, but that. It'll always be that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's one of the things that I love about my grand. Like this one thing I she's very family oriented. She don't play those type of games because it was seventeen of them. Fifteen living, living and living living. A lot. And then on my daddy's side I come from twelve. I said all the time too, right? Yeah, listen, we are saying something. Yeah, listen, you know, sometimes they, you can't see what they're saying. Hold us all together. Stop listening yeah. to them. Yeah, they're doing whatever. See the two deep. God yeah. forbid, yeah. what you gonna do with something? Yeah, we want it to be. Yeah. This to an hour, she gets you right. Okay, you gotta go with them. Like, listen, you're gonna regret it one day. So I'm saying, we get older, get that change. You know what I'm saying? We want to be, we want to do all that, and it does feel good. You know, being able to do that. So you try to. Put it off to the next person and get them to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. So people be hard headed. Yes. Yeah. I know people right now that are hard headed. And they don't want to. And live. sometimes you just got to stop talking. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen. Yeah, yeah. They learn the hard way. Yeah. I was that type. My mama always been like, "You need to do this, you need to do that." But I wasn't really listen to her. You know, mm -hmm. until I fell on my ass, and I'm like, and a lot of people are not gonna listen and until they I'm don't have nothing left. My mm -hmm. best lesson exactly. were the ones that bit me in the ass. Yep. But that's okay. That's mm -hmm. okay. You learned right. from it. I was always typing that, then, then ask for help. You know, yeah. I mean, of course, there's a woman in jail, jail, jail. The question Man. came, why you ain't ask me for this? I'm like, I don't want, you already raised me, I won't take from you now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What could be your bill money I'm to help me out? out. So, it took me for a while. I figured out I went to church, he was like, he did a little service. Said, don't ever be afraid to ask. He said, because I ain't going to be afraid to ask you. The preacher was talking to Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the preacher said, tired to your diaper. <laughs> I'm always afraid to ask anybody. But I'm going to ask it, so I had to learn that lesson. I'm like, man. For sure, they But you're right, though. You can't, can't help everybody. It's going to be a time you just got to stop and then figure out on their own. Before it's going to get the stress, they get out. They'll get there. And before it's stressing me out, I'm paying. Yep. You ain't stressed out. Real fast. But the person <laughs> helping you is stressed the most. They stressed the hell. They stressed the hell. You know what I'm saying? Damn, like, so like, bad. I can't do it. Damn, so bad. And then you think like this. Oh, what I'm supposed to do? Yep. I don't know what else to do. Exactly. That's rough by itself. It ain't even your problem. You made, made it your problem. You made it your problem because you're taking those things that ain't supposed to be you. That's, I can't do it. That's energy. No you got to take right. your energy because, hey. Mm -hmm. And learn that the hard way. The hard way, like what? <laughs> For real. Man. You got another one. It's uh, a proverb 31 one. Oh. Versus a sexy red type of woman. Yeah. Proverbs, listen, listen now. Morning. Listen, and now and again, it's okay yeah. when you're single to deal with a woman that takes red. Okay, yeah. probably yeah. turn yeah. to yeah. page yeah. on yeah. a Saturday night at 3 a.m. in the morning. What, what, you what, what red. <laughs> okay, so. With me is, because I'm, like I said, really people who know me, they know I'm very spiritual, but when I say. They can never make me hate Sexy Red. True, true. Sexy, Sexy Red, man. I love she her authenticity. Man. You know what I'm saying? She just her. Goofy, tall, to me, funny. She's her and like what she rap about, I don't feel like she really lived. Yeah. Because in the background, I was gonna say like she's really yeah. educated. Yeah, like, her background she is, just is live like that. She just wants That's to be like her. that. She and if people know the north side of St. Louis, but at the same time, she's just a product of her environment. Thank you, it sells. It sells. It does. That is you, exactly what it is. She got that motherfucking money. Thank you. So what is, what, what is you worried about? I'm going to do what I got to do to make my money. Thank I mean, you. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Y'all like there. me to say, to say all this? But I'm going to live like that. I want both together. Give me both one. That's it. 
Give me the Proverbs 31 right. and the sexy red. Come on, on now. Let's go. That's the one. That's it. Can't be stopped. Come That's on. it. You know what I'm saying? Be, be, be spirits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know that the foundation is built right. upon the Creator. But give me that sexy red and acting wild. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I'm with you. I'm going to support yeah, okay. you. I'm, I'm with all that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, and, and I hate the people that yeah. front. They be front. Yeah. I hate women that front like that. I well, hate the men that like, front and act like that ain't what they want. Yeah, the like women show be like, sexy. Women are front like that. And I hate the men that front like that's not what they want. I don't know. Yeah, because I had to lie. Oh, okay. Because I'm telling you. She's got my turn. I'm telling you about, I, I say about 85% of men want more. Yep. Yeah. They want more. I don't give a fuck. They can come on there and speak on whatever they want to. They want more. Yeah, they do. They do. And about but 90% of women want more. Yeah. 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 Street freak in the sheep. Yes, man. Yes, and, sir. And, yeah. and, and that day is, is a, 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 a freak every goddamn day, and then a saint on Sundays, and they yeah. need to cut it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you go to church don't mean yeah. you ain't being Earth. a sex red behind closed doors. But you'll go and judge her. Yeah. You'll judge a motherfucker with only fans. Mm -hmm. You'll judge a motherfucker with only friends. Yeah. But then you fake it. What you doing? Yeah. Exactly. I ain't going to no church and running around that motherfucker sweating. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm popping shit at the club like, what do I, nah, I ain't no judgment. You believe what you want to believe, man. Do what you do. Yeah. But I would rather be real. Exactly. I would rather be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I would rather be honest. You say, yeah. you say. But you can never convince me. Anything if you sitting up here popping yeah, big shit on the weekends and then just Sundays you just doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers that took shots and shit before church. Yeah. You don't got that. You drinking before you go there to hear a word. That what I'm saying. Pre gaming that church is crazy. They do it. It's a C type. It's a C. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's just like she a mother can never convince me, but. That's the thing, though. I don't. I don't when they get to talking all religious and Jesus this and this shit, I don't, I don't indulge in that because I left religion ten years ago. I know a lot of information. I study a lot of shit. I read a lot of things. I listen to a lot of podcasts. So much. Stuff. I do. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? Put it out there like that. But I'm very educated in a lot of areas, and so I just listen. And when I say listening. It tells you so much. Just sitting back chill. Everything don't deserve a reaction. And a motherfucker nine out of ten times will always tell them they sell. Yeah, it is. Well, I tell you. Well, I tell you. you sit back and just listen, listen to my talk. They tell them they Because sell. all the things you want to know, they're going to they gonna get they that. Gonna get, you ain't asking the questions. Just it's on your mind, man, but you ain't even had to you push it out. You ain't got to. You have to push it out. They don't tell it they sell. Yep. Because they don't realize, like, I've heard plenty of people who like live 24 seven, but yep. then when you catch them off guard and then they don't be thinking, they start telling that truth and you're like, wait a second. Because you just well, said this, right? was, this was just Because this. a lie gotta come with another lie. Yep. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep lying. And they lose track of that shit but see, quick. But with the truth, quick. you tell it one time, it may hurt. You tell the truth, what can they do? Man, it feels so good to do that. You tell the truth, I would rather be honest. Yep. So, I, I'd rather be honest, because I hate when a motherfucker like me. Let, me. let me go ahead and just tell you what it is. And that's it. Exactly, let's get it over with. Some people just with. like to lie. They do. Yeah, but how long can you keep up with that same line? Because you told it this way, this time, that way, that time. It's, I'm just going to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Then the lie get mad when you don't believe it. Man. I'm going to just tell you how <laughs> it is. I'm like, you don't really like it, you don't like it. But well, sometimes you don't need to ask for the lie. Like, nope. You just come along and get it. What? You ain't got a lot of people. Just be real. Be real, but it, it's too hard for some people to be real. They got too much baggage because they feel like they don't. They wanna, need to keep that facade they don't wanna of lose who they any, are. They don't want to lose anything. Is this? That's real. it. That's why. That, that's why the lie continues. Yeah, they want to be that fake ass person. Yep. They, they can't. They can't be who they really are. Yep. I, mean, I know when I was younger, you know, a lot about life shit when I was younger. But getting older. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the kids. I'm like, man, I want them to go home. As long as you realize, so, yeah. You should have been telling the truth. You see how the, the conversation flow and what came out of it. Got that weight lift off your shoulder. Like, 
It makes you want to keep going. Mm-hmm. I, know, keep going. I know plenty of people on social media, you think they big boss. And I know them in real Come life, on, and they broke as fuck. Broke and they ain't got broke. shit to their name. I know them in real life. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the biggest thing. Bro. That's the biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? That's just that, but I don't even look into that. That been going on for so long. Yeah. I just like, man, that shit, that is like, hilarious. Like, people who still believe, like, I love when people are like, oh, these people are young as fuck and they, they got rich as hell quick. I'm like, yeah, they scam motherfuckers. You know, that, that's all these people who do courses and shit. You get scammed like a motherfucker. Put me out. Right. It's stuff, it's stuff you can like, learn to do yourself. Right. One side for the one side. I could do that, but. I feel good when I get paid every week, man. Okay. It is it kind of fine. Right. You, you work for it. Like, it it makes you feel good yeah. to be yeah. like, damn. You got from it, it like, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. It was me. I, I, I put the work in. Yeah. I sweated shit. I went to break and ate these shitty ass meals. Yep. I did yep. all this. Tired of saying this. Just so I, you know what I'm saying? So I can take care of business. And it makes you feel good to handle business yep. as a man. Like, as long as I'm handling business, I know everything going to flow. Yep. So shit, they didn't make you feel good to work the motherfucking hours. Yeah, you'll be like, damn, my feet tired. Damn, I don't feel like going to the gym tonight, but I'm gonna go fuck it. Man, a lot of people our age don't even know what they feel like. Nah. Yes. Don't even know what they feel like. You right. Shoot, what is keep a job over two, three weeks. Yeah. These rumble streamers. I always wanna ask like why is it like that? Like why can what motivates you not to do that? Like, well, what is keeping you from... Government assistance? They love to sit there. Yeah, you know, been, like, I know people on government assistance Let's that go hard. It's just a simple it. thing that just like... That's all what, I want to see. What, what, what keeps you from going... Like, what makes you feel like in your mind you've convinced yourself that you ain't working for nobody? Rent's about to go up. And, and, and another thing I hate to hear is that I ain't working for the man. You saying all the right things. What man? <laughs> you gotta do that until you're in a position. No, I just want to know who the He's man is. Like the who the fuck yeah. is the man? Here, 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 the here, man here. had to work for the man to get yeah, where he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just want to know who the man is. What he look like? What color is he? Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Because he, my bad. No, bro. go ahead, go ahead. But it, cause like off rip, a motherfucker gonna automatically think they're working for a white man. Yeah. But if you go to Nestle, for example. Our plant manager is a black woman. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a woman. It used to be a Not man. just a black yeah, woman. I like that. She's a black woman from an HBCU. I like so that. she's a very educated black mm-hmm. woman. Mm-hmm. You go on the floor, most of the team leads and black cats black. are black. Mm-hmm. So what man are you fucking working for? Exactly. So I'm, I'm 22 years old, and the biggest thing that my generation says about that whole man thing is it's because people make them do the work. They want to show up to get paid to play on that phone. Yes. That's yeah. exactly what the they nail. want to do. They want to do They don't want to do Nobody wants to show up to work and actually do their work. They I'm a team shit. leader. They want stuff. Give it to I'm them a team leader work. where I work, and I ain't going to say that where I work. Yeah, you ain't got to do that. Cool. You know, but... I've heard more people get mad because they like, Ma, oh, why people keep coming through? I'm like, bro, it's a business. Yeah, we we are open. That's what we hear. I'm not paying you to sit on your phone. Yeah, I'm paying you to make sales the window, or or make sure you watching these cams correctly. I'm not paying you to sit on. And they think that they can play with your job. Yeah, like you can't play. Like you a good worker, you might can get by with a little shit. You know the young ones don't take look. it serious though. They may they stretch it. Damn. They'll give you your warning, but you gotta take that warning with a grain of salt. They right? don't have shit to oh, lose. But them why? motherfucking with the newer age, like when I say they do everything on the shift, on the clock, you want to bullshit. You can. This is money. Yep. Any time that money's involved, mm-hmm. I holler oh, down. Yeah. When you got when people are off the like, clock and they live their normal people. lives. They mm-hmm. totally different from work. Yeah, I ain't gonna catch. Totally different from work. Yeah. But when it comes to providing for your family, this is how you eat. Mm-hmm. You can't think about everybody else. Yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna cap. My team you members, can't. my team members get pissed off, but they not allowed to take their phones to the bathroom. Yeah. Because oh. I've had too many of them <laughs> not <laughs> show up for that whole hour. Been a forty-five minutes. Yeah. yeah. But that we not. But that's the thing, though. We not. That's cool. But that's something. Oh yeah. As soon as I see so you, so with I'm like, me, me like, I used to be one of them rebellious ass people. Like, fuck that. Oh God. Five minutes. 
I'm gonna make that motherfucker everywhere I go. You can use the bathroom and call that. And if I get caught, I'm gonna show out. If I'm sitting there, I got to You don't know what I got going on. My grandmama got this. My mama got this. My kid call it anytime. My kid call it. Oh, let's see. Oh, I use this. But see, that's the thing, though. I was thinking, mom. Let's be mature and know what excuses versus bullshit. I was thinking, mom. Because you've been new. That your grandma was this. You've been knew that your mama had this. You've been you knew all oh, this right here. Yep. If mm-hmm. them folks don't want the phone on the floor. Them big companies, hey, they got hours, a job. Maybe you need they a break from your phone anyway. Mm-hmm. Yep. It ain't gonna hurt you. You get four breaks. That's right. Grab that motherfucker on break. Let them folks miss you. It yeah. ain't that. You ain't missing shit in a oh, ten hour period. Uh-huh. Yeah. I do not take my phone to the floor. Motherfuckers be like, why am Look, the older I done got, I know what them phones do. Yep. I know what I gotta do. Like, man. what the fuck? Uh, why would I get fired over a fucking phone? That's when you drive yeah. forklifts or something. Yeah. Like that. No, yeah, I'm, saying, I'm certified on four that. forklifts. They don't. Why would I sit up here and have a phone? Oh, look at me. I'm driving a forklift. What? That's, 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 that's the most immature me. shit yeah. in life. You, you, like, you, 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 you know what you got to do. This shit is dangerous. Yeah. And these folks tell you in, in, in training, like, you can lose your life yep. doing this type of shit. Mm-hmm. That's because and people do not take that. They do not value life. That's why I said value life because a forklift incident can kill you. Yep. It can take your foot, hand, and it can kill you. Mm-hmm. You're operating a, a, a thousand ton machinery. Yep. And now you got to deal with, you just hurt this person. You just Take killed this seat. person. That's because people want clicks and views instead of the money that comes with it. And that, that's one of the biggest things that pisses me off about people I know. Is like, you you want the views from this. You want, they want, to show you want the life. clout from it. Yeah. Bitch, I want the money from it. Fuck the yeah. fame. Fuck the views. <laughs> yeah. Like... Like people, I, I know too many people. They're like doing that same shit. They'll be like Snapchat and, and they'll post on their story of them on a forklift. And I'm like, bro, you get paid good ass money to just put this shit on that thing and move it. Move Tell it. you what though, it ain't gonna last. Mm-mm. It's gonna come to an end, and then they gonna rethink that whole. Man, night. I was working at Trendy, and this girl did a TikTok. They make trains at Trendy, right? So she could climb up on the train, made a TikTok twerking on them folks' train. That is saying it, right on the spot. Yep. <laughs> so what did you do? Even TikTok twerking on me. And then you I bet she got them real life. Yeah, she probably hit with my social media <laughs> is mine is personal. <laughs> She's but hell, if your social bullshit. media was so private and personal, you wouldn't have oh, motherfuckers from your job. Oh, it's she didn't make it to the end of the show. Oh. That goes down to saying a lot of people ain't living for themselves. They yeah. live for everybody else. Where well, everybody else gonna look at that. She makes to the end. She makes it in the show. A lot of people doing that. A lot of people doing stuff for other people. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, other people gonna see as them, see them ass and stuff like that. Or I can't stand people that talk shit on the internet about their job, and then when they end up getting fired, I'm like, you were talking shit on social media Why about you your care? job. And your boss happened to find out and then fired your ass. They be on social media, yeah. man. Them folks be, you don't think your boss is looking up your name? Oh, God. So like, here's the thing. I may hate my fucking job. My social media will never know if I hate my fucking job. Mm-hmm. No. These jobs do no. it from, never. from the beginning. But it's no. because, like, yeah. especially if your name start to ring bells through the hall. Yep. Yeah. They start to know you. Yeah. Oh, your yeah. HR know you. These, I swear the black to cats know you. I want you to know me for my work. Now... They looking at you. Yeah. Oh, he a good worker. Uh, I need to my job. Him. I might try to bring him up one day and see what he yeah. talking about. My you job. know what I'm saying? Since I became a team lead at my job, they told me immediately. They were like, yeah, as soon as you get hired, we search your whole social media and we scan the whole thing. And I'm like, like as soon as you get hired, they're like, yes, as soon as you get hired, we know your Insta, your Facebook, your Snap. If you got any type of social media, they will search yeah, the whole shit. Some of them know when you get the, uh, the interview. They know, they know it then. They yeah. look you up for the college. That's why I'll be on that shit. And all you motherfuckers that think just because you got a private story and a second Facebook that they don't know that shit. They know. Motherfucker, your shit will link together nowadays. <laughs> oh, yeah, they can pull you up if they want to. Yep. Social media has gotten so advanced, yo, everything will link together. So it's not secret. Again, like, you, your work ethic can back that up for only a certain amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't have to mature. You don't have to grow up and be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I can sacrifice this not looking at 
Facebook or yep. Snapchat or something for a couple hours. Or so shit on break, just do what you gotta do. Yep. Put that motherfucker back in your locker. I swear, I, I feel like the best times to me is when I don't have my phone. Yeah, yeah, I just let that motherfucker in the locker, I put it on charge and not say nothing. Them be the best times so you get a mental break. Yep, you do. Mm -hmm. All I see on you social media anymore is about someone dying, somebody doing something racist, profiling, some type of evil shit. Either some new pedophile just got exposed. <laughs> he right. did it. That's, that's what's on social media. <laughs> he did it. He's not lying. <laughs> Motherfucking <laughs> baby oil, bro. Then you get hit as fuck. Hey, he's all over that motherfucker. He a thousand bottles. He, hey, he is fuck. Right. That that's that man. And, and all you sick, other people man. that fucking no know lie. he was doing that shit. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. Right. Jay Z. Let's, ooh, let's talk about it. Oprah. Let's talk about it. Cause yeah, they already right. said Beyonce taking folks out. Yep. But yep. Like, yep. okay, so I feel it. We, we, she win the Grammy. It. She. I'll put your head, ho. I feel it. We, we kind of uh, next day. We kind of got off topic just a little bit, and which it was really good. But like uh, back to saying like a proverb, thirty one yeah. one. I would really want to know why do religion plays an effect of you being a good person? Why do, why does why does a pro like how is a proverb thirty one woman is the standard? Why is it so? Who, like that's what I'm saying. That like that's like why? Uh, yeah. Like because uh, a lot, like majority of women see that as a stick. But that's just religious women. Like I said, it's I'm about to say because who? But it's just like <laughs> what, it's three women in here, right? So, no. so, so no. what? What? Like what? What's the difference from that? Like what? What's the difference from a proverb thirty one woman? Because a sexy red woman, I, like I said, I don't have a problem with sexy red woman. <laughs> because honestly, it's entertainment. <laughs> I feel like sexy red behind closed doors, completely different. Probably don't. Yep. She yep. Has, I feel like she does what she does strictly for money. For she money. She knows what's going to sell. She knows, she knows what's, what's going to bring in her base. Knowing her background, no matter how hood she is. She's smart as hell. Yes. But that's then again, not, though, if that's who she wants to be, why does anybody care? Just like who Samana, she is with should be the only she, person that you care about. And so with that, then the Proverbs 31 woman, I feel like, puts on a front. Oh man, my church yep. is gonna look at me like this. Yep. These people are gonna look at me like this. She feel like she, I, can't be herself. she can't be herself. Yeah. That's and that's my only thing against the proper service. Look, if you wanna be Jesus, 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 wear it on a shirt, headband, tatted, that's you. But be yourself. Be yourself, yeah. But be yourself. Yourself. But yourself. Don't 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 yeah. sit up here and, whole, and don't judge whole. sexy red <laughs> because of what she do, because I'm pretty sure she might go to church. She might look at it every Sunday. But the problem is everybody wants, like, this is the biggest thing that really gets me, like, weirded out about shit is, like, you want somebody who's never done no nothing. Like, they pure shit. I'm like, oh, first of all, that shit's not realistic. We all turned 18, 19, 20, 21. What's in our life? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on now. Somebody. But that shit yeah. is not realistic. Come Even on. the people in the church, guess what, people? It's not Are realistic. not virgins. Yeah. Like, like, most of them just ain't got caught doing nothing. Yet. Exactly. Like, I'm also, people who also give motherfuckers shit for porn stars, porn stars, for example, you realize this is the safest entertainment industry in the world. These people have to get tested 24 seven. All the time. Like, these people, these people, this is their whole career. They're the they safest people bank. 24 seven yeah. and they fuck for a living. And I back you up on that because like, I thought about being a content creator. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But oh, I swear to God, sell my feet pics. But see, the, but, God. See, but look, the thing look. is though, people look at that as immodest. Okay. But right. I, mean, I look at everybody see is this. You've done more for free. Hold up. That's where it is right now. Easiest That's 200 bucks right I made in my life. My face wasn't in it. No part of me. It was just my feet. I sold my feet pits. <laughs> made $200 that night. The easiest shit. I don't give a damn. I look at it like in my I bet your feet crusty. What? Hey, they were, Why they were, they were nice that day. In my <laughs> Now, we grown now. Yeah. Like, we, yeah. we swinging off the chandeliers. What I do is my business. I'm Come sorry, on, I don't care what it's. And then it's for people who I don't know you. Get your bread. Yeah. Yeah. It's with your partner. Ain't nobody. These partner. people have never mm. touched your partner. They'll never no touch you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell people. No, 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 no
get your money. Yeah. What, what, what's, the, what, what's the problem? Like you know what I'm saying? Get your get your bread. Like it's, it's ways to do that. I'm all for getting money. Different ways to get money. I'm with it. Like I can get. You know what I'm saying? Because like my idea of being a content creator was for straight for money. Yes, you have to perform this type of ways. People are have different fetishes. They want to request different things, and so that's where. It but comes if you're into, doing what you're comfortable with, it shouldn't matter. Right. I don't care. So I would be like, okay, let's let's do it this way. Even though people would be like, oh, I want to see this and that there, we don't need to make sex a job. True. true. Let's make it fun. Mm -hmm. So as long as we keep it fun and get paid while having fun, yeah. that's how you do shit. I don't give a fuck what they want. Let's dress up and do shit because we want to. Let's do foreplay because we want to. All we're doing is showing these motherfuckers and they just itching to well, do well, some we shit. we enjoy doing that is, That's it. We ain't gotta like conform to the rules or nothing like that. But granted, when you get up into your followers, your one percent, your top percentage, yeah, you don't have to do what your fans do because that's what, so that's what they want. That's what they want. Here's the other thing: these fans, they want, they want this shit. They want it. They want the weird, kinky yeah. shit, y'all. Like right. you would not fucking believe. That's why I say he can't judge nobody. You can't. I cannot. This fan, this fan won't do. Like cannot. when I say weird, oh, they just about the feet. He weird as shit. You know. And that's been the thing on OnlyFans. Easy, easy money. Easy, yeah, easy, easy, money. easy. If your, like, ugly, if your feet ain't ugly, if your feet ain't ugly, when I say feet pics are the easiest come up, yeah. say feet. Easy as fuck. Now you get into all the other shit that you getting into the big bucks now, folks paying hundreds, thousands. They tipping you. They want to see some shit. So you're gonna have to do your thing. But it's like, like the easiest come up, too. feet pills. Yeah, just like on the street. Close your feet. Well, she a hoe. She is. That's she knows she wants. She knows she wants. Pay. 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 Because yeah. where, where else you going to go where a motherfucker's paying you like $500 for two minutes? And it's all, most you ain't even video. last for 15 minutes, but she just got $500 yeah. and you just lasted 15 fucking minutes. But yeah. all these people bitching she. and complaining, this motherfuckers ain't got no money. Yeah. They, they ain't got nothing. Got it. They mad right. because, oh, well, she just giving her pussy away. No, no. she's strategic. She she's strategic with her pussy. Right. Because while you working for thirty five an hour, she just, she just made a hundred off of five minutes. Yep. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Took the condom off. Are you good? Wiped it down with a set, you know a little sandy wipe, <laughs> shower, whatever. But that's a hundred. Yep. So imagine twelve hours in a fucking day. She can only could fuck about seven motherfuckers. That's a seven hundred dollar leak. You know what seven hundred dollars can take you if you're a business minded motherfucker. Exactly. You gonna shit. flip that shit. Most of these people gotta work out with to get that seven hundred. But one right. thing, about, one on, thing about a woman, Come will on. never know a woman's body count. Skull all day. You can see her on the internet and do this and that there, but that's just a feature because one thing about content creators, they use the same person. Yeah. If you look at some of the same five niggas, they use the same five dudes in all type of features, and it'd be fifty different women, yeah. the same dude in the features. So it's not like she fucking 50 niggas. Yep. But they don't see that because they not in tune to how the business works. Yep. Like she said, safest people they in fucking that. life are porn stars and content creators. Yep. They got to get tested every yep. two weeks. Got to, or right. they not gonna get nothing. Well, you out here fucking Becky and Jenny. For, for don't free. Don't know free. where the fuck it, they got. Ain't got tested. Then it's, you, it's so bad now, it's where it say, it's crazy out here now, because you gotta be a nigga with money, the fuck a bitch like that, that's broke. But even that's like you, know, you toss a bitch for free. You, you can toss a bitch forty dollars and she give you that work. You just made forty dollars for thirty minutes. Huh? You're not going to your job and doing it. Hey, the fuck, no. You're not going to they your. They tax half of that forty. You hear right. me? You're not going nowhere doing that. Like, oh, that's too low for my pussy. Yes, and I agree. It may be, but where are you going to go? And make forty dollars in five. Forty dollars. <laughs> Most women will be like that. But again, where $40. are you going to go and get that? Motherfucker be like that. I give you a hundred. You just made a hundred dollars in ten minutes. Where are you going to go to do that? Ain't no job 
doing that. Is it? So that's why motherfuckers be like, that you can shun a content creator or three or four all day. Me, I never judge one, baby. Get your brain. I never judge one, baby, because if you can pay, you can pay. You can. Hell yeah. Money. We yeah. just said that. Yeah, yeah, salute you. Well, I mean, you feel me? Like, like, yeah, 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 look, hey, look. Because I, I know a content creator, she made like three bands in like a course of two and a half days. But at the same time, you don't know how she, she may not fuck all of them. She just probably just, because most old men, like old, old sugar daddy. They just want some talk. They Conversation. Just want right they they, they going to give you money just because you talk to them. Hey, look how far they take you. Look how far they take you. You go online, right. look at these women that got fleets of 18 wheelers. Yeah. Like, I got it by doing this. Look at look what they doing now. They own their own companies. I'm on their own shit. I you know what I'm saying? Coming out with motherfucking million dollars. That's like a show That's it. Man, I done been Man, to so many. Straight, I done I'm been to strip clubs. Right. And I like going to strip clubs through the week. You go through the strip clubs through the week, you get to know them. Yep. You go on the weekend, they too occupied. Right, yep. They got to do this and that. that. But when you go rhythms. through the week and you, you get to know who these women are, they fucking nursing students. Yep. Yep. These motherfuckers got full-time jobs, full-time moms. They just love to dance. They got goals. They love to be naked. They got three kids They love to be naked. They got three kids at the house. They not fucking. They ain't got to go work no 12 hours. They just like to be naked. They need to go work three, four hours or they get back to the They come to work being naked. So then when you look at it like that, like, oh, shit, they real entertainers. Yeah. They get their money. Yeah. Because how they kids do They knock them. They knock them. Because people who also try to give me shit, like, oh, porn stars, they fuck everybody in their fucking mind. No, they don't. This is what I look at, too. I'm like, okay, so... You don't give a motherfucker shit. Say a tattoo artist. They tattooing hella different people 24-7. Mm. A poor star, they just fucking 20 different people 24-7. It's a job at the end of the day. It is. It's acting. It ain't no less than 10 bands. Possession. That's what I'm saying. It's it, you, no by, the, by the time she fuck 20, she'll be at 100K. Yeah. So it's just like, you can't go in there thinking like, ah, oh, this bitch that had this motherfucker. Because if you go and look, it's the same five fucking dudes. Yeah. It's not nobody different. So if anything, it's them needing to be tested. Because the women, they being selective. Yeah. They know who to feature to get them where they need to be going. Because yeah. most of the times, if you look on Twitter, they play with themselves. That's what I was going to say. That, you know, they play with themselves. They get paid the same amount of money. They get paid the fuck. So you think they're just going to go out and fuck? They just going to go fucking just different dudes. No, no. seriously. They ain't low. They doing it themselves. They got plenty of things. They make a different tour for a woman every day. Because right. at the end of the day, you know, they got to think about this. Yeah. They get a disease. Yeah. They make money. Yeah. They make money. Yeah. They, they, they you just fucked up the brand. Everything. You cost them money. But that's mm -hmm. because back then, all everybody want to do is judge people. Mm -hmm. It's jealous. No, 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 no situations, be, no nothing. The world would be better judge. off if we was less judgmental. Oh, yeah. 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 Go, hey. Hey, shit. Everybody will knock everybody. I will say, there's a few motherfuckers in this world that deserve to be judged, P. Diddy. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's one thing I don't have any it's self so much for coming out. Chomo. It's yeah. so much coming out. With I him. say the whole Hollywood. Them folks are just yeah, yeah. sick, man. I swear to God, it's probably not many people, that you bro. that you can put out there. That it's so much ain't that them. ain't did it or ain't a part of something yeah. weird. So yeah, you I'm can't put them kids past. all willing what you're willing to sell or what with you're willing kids, to do to get there. Yes, yes. what people do for the money because all them folks half them was consent. Yeah. I mean, y'all were okay Thank doing you, it there. Right. You were okay with it. They kids away. Reality. So now they came out. For that money. Yeah. They're like, I can't. Now, 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 for the money. They're the fucking kids away. Who wasn't consent? You guys paying your mama like, I can see them. I'm paying your motherfucking mama. I feel bad for, like. See, that's the thing. I feel bad for them just to be even cast because. She won her lawsuit, though. No, he settled. He he paid oh, her well. off. Yeah. He paid her off within three days. I still won. Still you got me some money. Still won. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's and then shit. other women came out. Old girl from uh. Damn, then it came. It's me too. Right. This little yeah. R&B group. It's always she a me too. She came out. Yeah. So it's just, so, right. It's always a me too. So even, she even came, out. came out. Also came out. And yeah, like she did. 40 me now. Too. The girl 40 now. And. When Cassie came out, that's when all of them hit now. 
if this shit happened 16, 10 years ago, that's like they like did the, Bill Cosby, the like they did R. Kelly. You should really leave it the fuck on. Everybody knew what they was doing. I don't agree with y'all on it, though. Everybody knew what they was doing. Like we said with R. Kelly, the parents knew. You knew it. Why charge it? They were selling the fucking kids. The parents should be charged with it. The parents should be charged with it. The parents should be charged with it. Both days. Because yep. you're pimping your kids. Need to be charged. Yeah, exactly. Y'all knew what was going That's on. That's even in the P. Diddy case. Yep. He did some fucked up shit. I ain't putting nothing past him. And the motherfucker was smart with the goddamn ex, liquid X pill with I the baby on. But at the same time, he got videos on every single body that was at one of his parties. He got videos. So yeah, you got this on he here. The ones he but the moment he released they, some shit, he got the ones he needs. It's to gonna have. fuck so many people up. Then party, and then, uh -huh. It's gonna fuck so many people up. It was so many more. And then it was and the same coming out. This was years ago. Man, it was the same. This was years ago. Why is this shit coming out? If I come to your party and I ain't with that, but I sense how it's going, I'm not coming to no. I'm not coming to no. But like I, the same, like I said, the same people get come. But when Cam, Cam. William said it. You gotta tell him no. You don't yeah. come. I'll you got to there tell you him go. no. Tell you, no this man come. offered yeah. Cat Williams a hundred thousand dollars for his booty hole. He said you gotta tell him no. But this, this is come. these are the same people though. Like I, I don't believe we'll, we'll figure quick. out everybody that came to these people <laughs> parties. I would probably say give it a turn. No, because y'all record it. No, that is no man. Man. Everybody's right right now, though. Honey, there's there's going to be plenty of people that's going to do it, though. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be one of them motherfuckers, but look, I'm going to skip that. I threw a million dollars in your face. I'm going to skip it. Shit, let me like, it my man manhood is worth more. It is, it's, it's un you you can't can't have you made a million dollars in five minutes. I don't give a fuck. There ain't no price on my manhood. I understand the women. I understand Yeah. I'll do what you do, man. Oh, I ain't gonna do it. He didn't smoke 100,000. Live like you live. As a man, as a man, and most of, them, most of them had time. I hey, tread like it. You picked up somewhere. You gotta do it. You picked up somewhere. You got that talent. As a man, you had all the talents. Singers, rappers, basketball players. Not doing You was gonna get there. No, he said he is like, you got all them talents. You know, for real, he said. You use a different avenue because you gotta go in there and do that. Well, that's probably gonna get you there. You got to go in there and do it. You want it quicker. If he did it, would have to ask me that to her. I'm going to wait a couple of years. I'm going to pick me up. Shot him right in on the spot. Bitch, you want to do what? Yeah. No. Y'all think about a lot of these artists, they pop out and then they fall off. Yeah. They, 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 they said they no. They said that one with it. They said mm -hmm. no. Yeah, you hear me? I just told you, Beyonce, if you didn't like her and mention her with saying the Grammy is off with your head, the next right. fucking couple of days you it's, dead. It's so much about to hear so the much about it. The next couple of days you dead. Yeah, take the folks out. They won't. And Jay Z never took a lead. Take the folks out. Yes. Yep. Yep. They moved out. Take the folks out. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. They won't. They didn't get. Of course, Brown. The movie. They was gonna get it. Cause you gonna yeah. be spilled. Yeah, gonna taking be dead. folks clean the fuck out. Yeah, it's like yeah. they son Faith Evans for for Biggie. Yeah, yeah. He didn't even know what they were doing. Yeah, they know what they were doing. Yeah. You gonna come up with an uh, illness and the paperwork. Yeah. But they did that shit. What do you say? You gonna come over the They did that shit. But for right, you know, he, it's a, it's he overdosed. Or he was on this one yeah, supposed to be taking this. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's just like with Rich. They did that and they paid. They did like with Rich Homie. I fuck with Rich Homie. I bump Rich Homie in it every day. I bump some with Rich Homie in it. But it's just funny to me that he died the day before he was going on trial for the Rico yeah, case yeah. with Young Thug. Yeah. Well, seriously. But this this is the other thing. Eventually, like, yes, he died. Yes, he, he, he. That is one thing. But here's my other thing. Why are y'all just trusting these people who give you these drugs? Exactly. Who they so trust them? That's the other thing that I so don't cool. Why y'all so just nice. labels, bro? Like, so Lil, cool. Lil Pete took drugs from a fan that gave it to him. Why the fuck are you just taking random shit? Fredo, another person, just taking random ass shit. Now, of course, he died off a of lean, but he was also popping shit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, also, a, a top of the lean shit, he's got the pills. Uh, Rich homie Kwan. Like, you taking random ass drugs from people. Like, 
That that's the other thing is like the door to the right. Oh, right here. No, right here. But if you follow yeah, Rich Homie, yeah. he really didn't My take right. a lot of drugs <laughs> from random people. He was very tight knit but my with thing. everything that he did. So it's just like with his situation, it got people like, okay, so if you already knew this man ain't woke up, yeah. why would you put a blanket on him? Not check his pulse, not eat nothing, sweet. not a fool hanging at his mouth. Fool hanging at his mouth. You you ain't check nothing. Because like following him, he did the same shit. Now with a motherfucker that do the same shit, it becomes functioning. Mm -hmm. I'm a functioning weed addict. I'm a right. functioning alcoholic. And you can see motherfuckers knock down two, three of these and driving, cooling like it Make don't affect them, them because that's the yep. uh, that's what you told your brain. But that's the delusion. Did you see what killed them? Giving your brain. Did you actually see what? No. What? Fentanyl. What, what, fentanyl. Yeah. That, that, you know what I'm saying? That's what they said. It was, it was the fin. It's just that knowing Rich Homie background, he didn't fuck with a lot of shit that people but who's giving that's it the blame. that's in the blame right now but who's giving it to him that's the thing it's is, is I'm pretty sure he gonna mess with the same people. same person the whole time like that most people do like if you got a good plug you gonna fuck with that plug you got a plan and nobody a and else. A plan B. Yeah. but then it it. then it goes on top of this let's say he did have the same plug and the same people well, now you giving me shit that's laced that's going to kill me after just a little bit that's in there. So who paid you this much we to take me out? You see, when they're exactly. up like that, they get into the real shit, the real people with degrees, the real doctors that, that can give you this shit. Mm -hmm. Not like us who have to pay insurance and shit and then have to be like, well, this helps. Can you give me this? Yeah. And then them motherfuckers will give you something else. But with them, it's like, oh, I need some perks. They gonna give you perks. It's they not the gonna, they not, they not gonna the motherfucking it out to people getting paid off. Ask too many questions. They gonna give you what you want because they know you got the bread to afford it. So it's the pharmacies and the doctors. Mm -hmm. If you notice in the Michael Jackson trial, they charged the doctor, yep. even though he just gave what Michael Jackson asked. Yep. But they charged him because he knew better. Than because he it. knew better. Mm -hmm. and but the money. Made him continue to give it. And that's so is why. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, but do you know what Michael Jackson had? Oh! Do you know who wanted He bought Michael the Jackson fucking had? Beatles. Do you know who oh, wanted yeah. He bought the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's what I'm saying. Do you know he, who wanted it? He, he had it. So she got a water. Okay. 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 He had it, but the thing is, is that Michael Jackson was actually going on tour for the last time to afford all the shit that he had. Because yeah. you got to think of all the allegations he was going through. That's years of allegations. Mm -hmm. And though he proved it to be wrong, he still got to pay for that shit. Yeah. So it's just like it's money spent somewhere. So it's just like he was going on this big ass tour and then all of a sudden you end up dead. Have y'all heard this supposed recording of like one of his last phone calls? No, I didn't get the phone. I got the last one practice performance but I ain't get the phone call so mm -hmm. there's a phone call that's allegedly him talking to like somebody in his record label some some high ups in his management and he's like and it kind of sounds like I'm not saying it's real I'm not saying it's fake I'm just saying it do sound like his ass but he's like talking about they listening to him they want him gone too many people are after him He's too popular, got too much money. They they want him out of the way. Yeah, this dog did go back for me and Hope saying. Jay Z never wanted what Michael Jackson had. Oh, yeah. Jay Z they said that. They said they had them. They said they were the But they want something. They want something. They don't 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 want you know what I'm saying? Other than Michael Jackson, but then her competition is Chris Brown. They said so it's just like her competition is Chris Brown. Chris so Brown it's just is blackmail, so he really can't he's do He's been blackmail. So he's he probably gonna be the realest motherfucker that they gonna come to other than that because of everything. But like that's her competition is Chris. Did y'all see the You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see the uh recent interview with Rihanna when she was younger talking about when she got signed? 
So Jay Z, she was talking about getting signed to Jay Z and everything. And Rihanna, this was like first in her career. So I love all these like conspiracy and shit. Like so I, I go do down, too. I go down the rabbit hole. Sometimes. I do too. Yeah. And Rihanna, she was young as fuck, and she was on like this uh, channel or whatever, and she was like talking about getting signed, and she said Jay Z said you can either walk out this walk out this fucking hotel room with a record deal and everything, or off the 29th floor. Yeah, you yeah, remember yeah, when yeah, uh, uh, Umbrella yeah. came out? Her, uh, Beyonce had a problem with uh, Rihanna working with Jay Z yeah, yeah, yeah. when Umbrella came yeah. out. Even Rihanna That's was why she some made type of that song. Yeah. She made Umbrella. The dream, the dream, the dream it was, was a problem. problem. Yeah. Yeah. for Beyonce. Yeah. It was a problem with Jay Z working with Because Bob remember, yeah. remember that time when they was trying yeah. to compare and contrast Rihanna and Beyonce. Yeah. They were the biggest pop stars and everything mm -hmm. like that. But it's just wasn't like, fly. Beyonce but was a ghost. Yeah, she's not. That. She saw what Rihanna Beyonce was Beyonce never goes to that. And Beyonce people be like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. saw me. She Beyonce saw Beyonce the scene. But if you know, you know, this motherfucker is kind Shout out to the Virgos, but she's semi-psycho. So it's just all like, Virgos. So I'm sorry. Semi-psycho. All Virgos. You Virgos? Oh, Lord. So I you said fuck them. That's cool. So I mean, and, I love and, and, and they're very, I love they're you. very much so. Are you all right? You're so chill. They're very strategic. What you want to See, what they say, I'm a Leo. Damn, baby. Leos are very strategic. Yes, ma'am. But a Virgo is strategic in how they I'm play. Not, they're very words. war type. Okay. Yeah. They want to yeah. gain all the information first. Yeah. And then that's when they come out with some This is. got to hold some shit. So it's just like, I don't put that past B because the biggest star other than her was Rhea. Yeah. But then their competition, which is Sony, mm -hmm. Diddy Cent, Eminem. Yeah. Kanye, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, yeah, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. Look up, uh, so it's look up BMX. So it's just like who, shit. Who Jay -Z, died? Jay Z behind that. Who you, dead you, now? You got the comp. You, you, got, you, got, dead now. you, you got, got the comp. You got the comp. That's so it's just it. like, what is you BMX trying to? Like, what are you doing now? Yeah. Like, what? Who is you trying to aim at now? Yeah. Because you can only I'm take out the smaller I'm people for so long. So. Who are the bigger people that you coming for? Because like you come, you can't come for CB. But as long as long as all these doctors say you die from this, this, and this, we are gonna keep coming. Yeah. Ain't nobody on to us yet. But what here's, you said, we gonna here's, keep coming. Here's something that we doesn't make you, sit we gonna right make us, with me. You gonna die for something? Come on, think about that. They either die from a car accident. Yep. Heart attack. Overdose. Overdose. Then yep. all the only you yep. ain't never catch somebody now from old age or cancer. That what I'm saying. Just old ass oh, right. age look, happy as fuck. Doctor, look, doctor, when it come down to this and you get in trouble for it, we got your whole family. Is it? Take care of them. We got you. Oh, so go take care. them out. Say give them this. Give them a shot. Make them croak yep. out. Yep. But this, Real this, shit. this doesn't sit right with me. And at first, I was like fucking with this person because like she was exposing the truth. But then I actually started to like really sit and think. Jaguar, Jaguar right. All right. She How the fuck you know all this shit, she girl? There. She was there. She was there. For everything she, she knows, she was there. She yeah. was Jay Z too. Yeah. Well, my yeah. thing mm -hmm. is, is, you were through all this. Well, why, you know, just, why you just now saying yeah. shit? Like that's that's there, man. That's. that's but, but she money, acts like she, she never she was. No, she no, she somebody she was didn't scared. pay her. She was scared. She was scared. She was scared, but somebody didn't pay her. He did it. Yep. Man, Jay is a powerful man. They can get you knocked off. For real, because the thing is, is you know, his her. baby mama was coming out with a whole memoir. Yep. And she ended up dead. Yep. She was a lot of people did. He was just so hurt behind the funeral. Funded that motherfucker. Yep. But it's funny that when she was finna come in and expose everything, she ends I, I up. I heard about that like a week ago, yeah. So, so, so what? What's really going on? They let the only thing I can working. see, cause I, I, I'm not, I ain't gonna look into it too much. I don't look in the Diddy situation too much because the only thing I see is this: when it comes down to it. He has every single video of every single person throughout all the years that's mm -hmm. been in his shit. So that's his defense. Y'all yep. got all the other defenses with this here, he was linked to this here, but when he dropped those videos, and y'all be like, oh, he forced me to do that. Now, if ain't nobody putting a gun to your motherfucking head, who's he forcing you to do some shit? 
Don't say it. it, it be kinky in your personality. Yeah. Say you like some shit. Yeah. But putting a gun to, I don't care, and motherfuckers smack you around. If you don't want to do something, leave. Leave. Yeah. Find a way. They can't make you do shit. So you have to have in your mind some type of attraction to make you want to do some shit. Right. Because can't no fucking human being with blood running through their veins unless they got a gun pointed at your head threatening your life make you do anything you want to do. Thank you. Come on, somebody. Ain't no job finna make you stay there. Oh, we'll fire you. Okay, this is a million other jobs. Yeah. There's not a million other me. There's a million other jobs. There's not a million. There's, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. They want I'm you. The, the reason why they do that is because you're a good worker and they don't want you to leave. So they'll threaten you in the state. See, when you threaten them, they be like, oh, so we're going to shoot it back to you. But then they got to realize, shit, if, if you don't got no workers, your business ain't going to run. So who the motherfucker that's in charge? Exactly. No, accommodate me how I need to because I'm one of your best workers. Because if not, bitch, I'm going to go to somebody else. Exactly. So it's just like you. everything comes with a price. You do. And motherfuckers don't look at it like that. Everything comes with a price. Everything comes with a price. A, a, a billionaire wife still gets cheated on and why? Let's talk about A motherfucker that. never tell. They would never explain that. This is a billionaire's wife. This bitch get everything she wants. That's because Why is she still getting cheated on? Because they're not satisfying the one thing that they want. Or it's because I have all this nobody can tell me I can't do what I want. I have so yet to a have life, life a legitimate answer from a billionaire or a motherfucker with racks. Why do your woman or your wife still gets cheated on and she gets everything that she wants? Why does she go and look for it in a lesser money-making man? She got the motherfucker with the riches, yep. but she'll go fuck a broke nigga. Why? Because that broke motherfucker is going to pay attention to her. Pay attention yeah. to her. Yeah. Give her everything. Yeah. Give her all the fucking love yeah. that this rich motherfucker yeah. ain't doing. Yeah. You thinking because you got the bread. Yeah. You supporting. Yeah. You paying all the bills. You yeah. don't realize what's on the ground. Yeah. Women live in the moment. They're ground workers. Yeah. They're not the motherfuckers that's, oh, shit, I got the glamour in this in here. Everybody not a Cardi B. You got some humble ass. Got no you got some I'm humble ass face. women, but even with Cardi B, she got cheated on every time. So then, why is it that women with money still getting cheated on? Why is men with money still getting cheated on? Just like your was the submission versus slavery. Huh? It's low key down. Submission, oh, look, submission versus slavery. That one was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Submission, yeah. submission versus no, fucking yeah. slavery. You yeah. say you want to die. I got a piss. That's the it's next right topic. Yeah. Being submissive versus slavery. 